in, in, in Trump world is, uh, is, is that over the last roughly 10 years, there's been a growing consensus in the sort of science policy parts of the U.S. government that there should be funding for research here. In the last uh, months of the Obama administration, there was a formal pronouncement from the U.S. Global Change Research Program, an interagency coordination effort uh, that officially recommended research on this topic and lots of other examples like that. And I would say had we had a more normal presidency, whether Democrat or Republican doesn't matter, I think we almost certainly would have seen the beginning of a more formal federal research funding for this. So, and I've been involved a little bit in, you know, trying to talk to people at congressional staff and senators and so on to try and get funding to happen. What do I and people like me do now? Because, in fact, one of our biggest worries, we had meetings literally the day after the election in our Harvard program saying, like, the worst case for us is that Trump tweet, makes a tweet saying solar geo engineering solves everything, we can give away mitigation. Because that will instantly mean that all the people in the immediate concern helping to do, I haven't mentioned, but we now have a Harvard-wide program, and we even have room for visiting scholars and other people to come, come work. And this program very much is dealing the day after the election in our Harvard program saying, like, the worst case for us is that Trump tweet makes a tweet saying solar geoengineering solves everything we can give away mitigation because that will instantly mean that all the people in the environmental advocacy community who, who we've been building good relations with who are now cautiously supporting research by us and people like us they would have to 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 turn against us even if they personally didn't have anything against us but that would, they would have to do that if trump made such a tweet so so how do we manage that risk? And do we still go seriously and ask for new U.S. government funding on this topic? Because even if, 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 if sensible funding managers from existing agencies who are, in fact, sensible people do it, it will, be, it will be seen as a child of the administration. So it's actually quite a puzzle how to think about the, the U.S. policy of this. I mean, in the big picture, the U.S. is just one country. Trump is just one president, things will go on, this is a long problem, but at least in the near term in the U.S., I think it really is an issue. And what we, frankly, have been doing is focusing more on philanthropic funding. And, and I'm very happy that actually among our funders now are some of the real blue-chip funders of climate philanthropy, like, like a Hewlett Foundation. And I think there really has been a kind of change in the way the philanthropic community thinks about it. But I think there are real polls. So I guess I've, I've answered a related question, but your big question, I have no idea.